in this video we will study about clove or long its common name is long uh, this is also a spice now what is a spice or spices these are dried seed fruit root or bark of the tree uh, these are usually used for flavoring or coloring the food now they can be used as whole uh, by roasting by frying by grinding they can be used in various forms but they are different from herbaceous plant like leaves etc now botanical name of clove is eugenia caryophyllis or cyzigium caromaticum uh, this belongs to family mitaceae and the part which we use as a spice are its floral buds now we can see these are its floral buds and now floral buds have not opened yet so these are unopened floral buds now this is unopened floral bud now this part is called as hypanthium this is the lower uh, tube like part this is floral tube and this part after drying this forms calyx and this part this part is actually bud part floral bud part now we'll see the structure of a floral bud you can see here now as i have already told you this part is hypanthium this is the lower floral part of the floral bud and this is sepal and this is the floral bud now if we see in detail Uh, now this part is having oil gland which is also called as hypanthium uh, which is actually encircling or enclosing the all the floral parts of the clove now this part is ovary having ovules and these are stamens this outermost whorl is sepals and these are petals so this ha hasn't opened yet so this up unopened floral bud of clove is economically important So this is the structure of floral bud. Now, if we see its uh, morphology, that is its external characters. Now we can see this is the plant of the clove. Now these are its flowers, which are crimson red in color, and these are its leaves. So this plant remain evergreen tree. Mean its leaves they are not shed off from the plant. It is in the form of tree, and its height may be twelve to fifteen meter in height. Now its leaves. they are opposite glabrous I mean they are not very shiny and dotted with oil gland I mean they have oil glands now if you see its inflorescence this is crimson red paniculate cymes uh, now we can see here these are its flowers which are uh, some of the flowers have not opened yet some of the flowers have been opened but uh, economically part which we use of the clove is its unopened floral buds and uh, in the wild state they flower mean when they grow on the road side or naturally so they bear the flowers in clusters now the shape of the floral bud is like a nail and the name clove is uh, derived from the french word a uh, clove now if we see how we can cultivate and propagate this now we can cultivate or propagate this plant either by some cuttings like softwood cuttings or by buddings or we can also propagate with the help of seed uh, seed we know they are produced inside the ovary and ovules they ripen to form the seed so seed can be used for the propagation of the clove or it can be by the vegetative means now for its cultivation we need to have rich loamy soil with high humus content it means it should be fertile and then uh, it can be also grown in open sandy loam and lateritic soils of south kerala regions it needs warm humid climate and this may grow near the sea part annual rainfall requirement is 150 to 250 cm and cloves they thrive best in the location ranging from sea level up to 900 m now what are the uses of the clove now as we discussed cloves they are used as a popular spice uh, so this is used for flavoring soups stews meats uh, sauces various kind of sauces ketchups and rice dishes 
Uh, now if we take, talk about rice dishes, it can be sweetened rice, it can be salty rice, it can be plow, it can be uh, biryani and when we boil the rice we can also add uh, this long into the water while boiling of rice. Then if we are making sweetened rice, um, uh, like uh, we, we can make good rice or any other sweetened rice with the sugar, then again uh, this clove is added to flavor the rice dishes. They are also used in various cooking purposes, like they can be used in cakes, puddings, fruit cakes and many other sweetened desserts. Now they are flavoring agent used in pickles and very important for Indian curries. They are almost used in all the curries of India uh, while preparing the food. Now this is highly aromatic, I mean it has a very pleasant and distinctive smell. Uh, so uh, sometimes this is tikhi si smell aati hai, to usko hum aromatic bolte hai. Now stimulant, I mean this can stimulate, right? Uh, the secretion of digestive juices. Uh, this is carminative, I mean if uh, like you have certain digestion problem and there is a gas formation, so this will help in expulsion of the gas and this will also help in combating the flatulence problem, gas problem. Now this helps in treatment of dyspepsia and gastric irritation, uh, supposing something is burning in the stomach, burning sensation is there, nausea sensation is there, fullness sensation is there or some digestion problems are there. So clove can treat those digestion problems. Now this is also used for treatment of nausea, uh, colic flatulence mean again gas trouble and diarrhea mean motion problems. Now when we uh, steam distillate the floral buds, we can yield an oil. Uh, this oil is called as clove oil and this is rich in eugenol 70 to 90 percent. This is also having uh, eugenol acetate and caryophyllene. Now this uh, clove oil has many uses. This can be used for the manufacture of vanillin. Now this vanillin is also used for flavoring food, perfumes as well as in the pharmaceutical industries. Now this is used in the preparation of perfumes, soaps, toothpaste and uh, this clove oil is very important mouthwash. Uh, this helps in maintaining uh, oral health and this is also used in mouth uh, washes. Uh, because this has antimicrobial properties. And now this helps in treatment of plague, just dantho ki upar ek layer si jam jati hai, usko nikalne mein help karta hai. Uh, gingivitis, uh, jaise humare gum, jain masoode fool jate hai, plague ki wajah se bhi foolte hai, ya waise koi hume bacterial infection ho jai, to clove oil can be used for the treatment of that. And jo bhi humare, uh, humare oral cavity ke andar, bad bacteria hai, ya koi foul smell hai, to usko treat karne mein bhi help karta hai. तो बहुत सारे जैसे हम रिंस करते हैं माउथ अपना माउथ वॉशेस से तो उनमें भी क्लोव ऑयल डलता है एंड दिस हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू प्ले इन द डेंटिस्ट्री दांत का दर्द हो रहा है टूथ हेक या दांतों का कोई प्रॉब्लम है कैविटीज हैं सो दे कैन बी ट्रीटेड विद द क्लोव ऑयल नो दिस हैज अदर हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स आल्सो दिस इज वेरी लो इन कैलोरीज सो दिस कैन हेल्प इन ट्रीटिंग द ओबेसिटी आल्सो but this is a rich source of manganese minerals so this is very good for bones and uh, this is rich in antioxidants because of eugenol and this reduces oxidative stress and this may also help in controlling the cancer formation cells and this also causes death of the cancer cells so this help in uh, treating cancer also now this may also help in promoting insulin production and this uh, helps in regulating the blood sugar level now because this is rich in manganese, so this is helping increasing the bone mineral density or this improves your bone health. Uh, clove extract and clove oil, uh, they may increase the production of gastric mucus and protect against stomach ulcers. Now sometime in the stomach ulcer formation is there, now they can be again treated with the help of clove oil. Clove oil is very important for the uh, medical students, this is used for uh, we can say um, while preparing slides in biology, uh, when we cut the section, histological sections, then this is used as a clearing agent in biology. Now we can see this is the clove oil. Uh, so this is all about economic importance of clove. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.